Hello, good afternoon. This is uh, David Sutter talking to you, and today I'm going to show you how to install my Excalibur EA, okay? And there are two versions of my EA. I have a demo copy and a final copy, okay? With the, they're both the same as far as installation goes, but the only difference is between the two is that the final version has a password that is locked to your account, okay? So all you have to do is give me your account number which is, should be listed up here in the top left corner, okay? And give me this account number, and I will create a password for you. Now, I recommend starting with a demo account to try this out. And if you need a new password, that's fine. Just give me your new account number, and I'll make a new password for you, okay? No problem. Now, if you get the demo copy, it does not need a password, but the demo copy is only good for one week. This will allow you to try it out and test it to see if you really, really like it, or you know, you can test on different time frames and different take profits and etc. to see what kind of results you're going to get once you get the final copy. All right. Now, when you install this, I'm going to send you a file. All right. It's it, there's going to be two different versions. It's going to be one that says demo copy or one that says final. All right. I'm going to show you how to install the final. But it's basically the exact same uh, method, okay? When you go to unzip it, all right, I don't know, I'm using this right here called WinRAR, but there's different unzip utilities, but it should look very similar to this, okay? You should have two files right here, okay? Excalibur EA and support and resistance buffers. Your support and resistance buffer is an actual indicator, okay? And your Excalibur EA is the actual expert advisor file, okay? This EA file you place in your experts folder and your MetaTrader, and this support and resistance buffer you place in the indicators folder. Okay, very, very easy. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to extract both of these to my desktop just to show you uh, how this works. Now, you can, I would recommend doing this uh, in your my documents or create another folder called Excalibur EA, etc., to just know where you placed your files. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and extract this and put this on my desktop. And you see here, I got my support and resistance uh, buffer file here and my Excalibur EA file here. I'm just going to drag and put them right here. And then if I go back to my uh, MetaTrader here, and then what I want to do is go to File, Open Data Folder. All right. And then I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to grab that one file. Okay. Uh, support and resistance. First, I'm going to do the support and resistance buffer. You can do either one, but I'm going to do the one that says support and resistance buffers. Ex4. Okay. I'm going to right click and click copy. Okay. Now I'm going to go back all the way, and then go here to where it says MQL4, and click on this, and then go to indicators, and right click and hit paste. All right, I already have done this before, so I'm just going to replace it, but that's what you do. You place it in the indicators folder. Now, go back to your desktop again, or wherever you save those files, and find the one that says Excalibur EA, all right, which should be right here, Excalibur EA.ex4. Right click and hit copy, okay, and then go back to MQL4 and open this, and then go to your experts folder at the top here right click on your experts folder and click paste okay that will put the file into that folder okay now once you have done that you can close this right here out and then what i suggest is uh restart your metatrader okay just simply restart it and then once you restart your metatrader all right what's going to happen is you should see the you should see the uh, both the indicator file and the expert advisor file on the left hand side. All right. If you see here under indicators, you should see a file that says support and resistance buffers. Okay. You do not need to load this on any chart. Okay. Just leave it alone. All right. Now, what you have to do though is find the one that says Excalibur EA. Okay. Take this one and drag and drop it onto a chart. And go to the first of all, go to the common tab right here. All right, 
click allow live trading and then go to the inputs tab and then right here is where you're going to input your password okay so uh, I've got a password I saved already hold on a minute let me get my password okay my password here's my password right here okay and then uh, once you have that entered then you can simply press OK now all before you do this I don't want to tell you the different parameters here it's very very simple but you have right here called trade size okay this is your lot size and the default is 0 0.1 okay it's a you know 0 0.1 or 0 0.10 lot size however you want to just call it but that's basically 10 cents per pip okay now that may be too big for you I don't know I I've tested this before in demo and it worked fine with a $500 account balance okay now also the next one is max open trades this by default is set to five and how this works is it will place five trades but not all at one time all right it'll place five trades over a period of time which will allow you to continue to have profit being made while you have other trades stuck open okay now I cannot say how long you have trades open for the vast majority of trades open and close very quickly you know within a few minutes or a few hours depending on what time frame you're using okay but probably 90% of all trades close within the same day so you can avoid swap fees okay there are occasional trades that get hung open for a long time all right that's just something you have to deal with in the world of Forex okay it's something we have to take into consideration and we cannot use a huge lot size because we could have trades potentially stuck open for a long time causing heavy drawdown or heavy swap fees okay so please please keep that in mind that you know you don't want too many trades open at once I would not use more than five for this value okay that's the most I would use if you want to be more conservative use like two or three all right that I'll leave this up to you but for me the five is fine and you know that'll give me the, the the most potential for the most profit okay I don't want to use more than that because it could be kind of a risky venture okay <clears throat> so next is uh, stop loss okay it says hidden stop loss but basically said this is true you can change it to false but what happens if you change it to false you don't have no stop loss or take profit at all so just leave that set to true all right and the default value here is 5,000 points for me that is comfortable because I you know all my back tests I never even hit a 5,000 point stop loss all right I think the biggest drawdown I had the biggest negative value I had was 3,000 points so I know if I use like a thousand point stop loss I'm gonna hit that several times in one year and I could potentially lose a good chunk of money all right I don't want to do that so for me for me personally I use a comfortable lot size a safe lot size and I use a large enough account balance that way I'm not risking losing all my money okay but I will let you uh, you know play with this and decide what you know what value is good for you as far as a stop, the stop loss is concerned I would definitely try this on demo account and to see what works best for you okay now for your take profit this by default is set to 25 points which is very very small okay that is the smallest that I would possibly recommend all right I don't know what your broker's commission is but find out what your broker's commission is and you can subtract that from your take profit to see what your actual true take profit is all right with this broker here I believe they have a five point uh, commission so meaning your actual take profit is only going to be 20 points okay so you got to take that into consideration as well now you can increase this this is only designed for a five minute chart if you use like a 30 minute or even one hour you could increase this a lot more if you use a 30 minute chart I would do like a 50 or 60 point take profit if you use a one hour chart I would use like a 100 even 150 point take profit okay so you know you can use a higher take profit on a higher time frame you will have fewer trades placed on a higher time frame 
but you can use a higher take profit and in the end you know you have more prop you have about the same amount of profit as you would on a smaller time frame so both are going to if you use a small time frame or a larger time frame both will give you good results okay but do not use a one minute chart okay it is too erratic and you're not going to have very good results you have a good a large number of trades that close on profit but you have you don't have a lot of trades also they get hung open for a long period of time and you want to avoid that as much as possible okay five minute chart you gonna have some trades open for a long time but not very very few okay because compared to a one minute chart one minute chart is a no-go so anyhow once you have all your parameters set whether you use default or you make your own choices here then simply click OK and <clears throat> Uh, the last thing you have to do is click auto trading button here okay and you should have a smiley face right here all right if you do not have a smiley face then you have done something wrong and you need to go back into your expert advisor properties and see all right see here I forgot to check allow live trading all right so that was my problem so double check all your settings and usually the allow, allow live trading should be checked already. If I go back to my settings, this should be checked already. But just double check to make sure that this is checked, okay? And then, once you have a smiley face, you know you're good. Now, if you want to test it to make sure it's working, place it on a one-minute chart and go here to the trade window, okay? And load this. I would create a template, okay? I would call this your Excalibur EA or whatever you want I've already created a template before and then you can open up additional charts put it on a one minute or five minute whatever time frame you want but just for testing purposes I'm gonna put it on one minute and then load this EA okay and make sure you have a smiley face every time alright I'm gonna open this do one minute and hit Excalibur EA smiley face same thing here chart window one minute Excalibur EA and depending on the time frame you use it may start placing trades right away or it may take a while okay different times of the day are more active than others alright so the, if the market's really really busy you're gonna get a lot of trades placed but if your market is dead like in the afternoon of the New York session you're gonna have uh, not many trades right now it's kind of a busy time of day this is the start of the New York session, so it should start placing trades. All right, it may not place them right away, but it could take up to you know 30, 40 minutes for you to start seeing trades place. So I'm not going to sit here and keep this video running. If you don't place trades, that's fine. But as long as you have a smiley face, you're fine. Okay. So if you have any questions about how to install this or use this, just uh, simply let me know. It's very, very simple. Okay. To summarize, all you do is take the file, okay, the support resistance buffer file, put that in the indicator folder, and then take your Excalibur EA file and put that into your experts folder, okay. Once you have both of those installed, restart your MetaTrader and then drag and drop your Excalibur EA only, drag and drop that onto a chart. And when you put that on the chart, make sure you click Allow Live Trading and input your password if you have the final version if you have a demo copy no need to final no need a password and just click OK and you're fine alright and just test this on different time frames with different take profits and let me know how your results are okay feel free to share your results in my Facebook group I encourage you to do that that way others can ask questions based upon your results or you can ask questions about other people's results you can share and we can all kind of collaborate and see what works best okay that is my advice for you so just let me know if you have any questions about how to install this or need help uh, you know help installing this I'd be more than happy to try and help you I may have better help you right away but definitely do contact me there is a link below in the description of this video for my personal Facebook contact me there first okay contact me on Facebook and I will see if I can help you if not there's also a link in the description of this video for my Facebook group okay if you have not joined my Facebook group do so that way you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group 
and myself or other traders will be able to assist you and answer any questions you may have okay so with that said just uh, you know contact me if you need any help and I'll be do my very very best to try and help you okay thank you and have a wonderful day